Gregory Perillo is an artist who, in the tradition of Remington and others, has focused his talents on the 19th century American West. Studying under esteemed Western artist William R. Lee, Greg began a career that would span decades and touch the hearts of millions of people worldwide. It's no wonder that anxious admirers stand in line for hours to have their favorite Perillo plate, figurine, doll, or print signed by the current Dean of Western Artists, the only living artist included in Funk and Wagnall's encyclopedia. When questioned about his subjects, Greg responds, I paint them as they were. They were great nations and great people. Carol Wood has written poems longer than she can remember, always with a focus on human emotion. Today she is most inspired by the spirit and spirituality of the Native American. Carol's talent for poetic expression and her unique insight into the human soul give voice to emotions shared by all peoples. It was this talent and sensitivity that caught the attention of painter Gregory Perillo. During a personal appearance at Carol's gallery, he was moved by Carol's poem, One in the Spirit, celebrating the unity of races. Five days later, Perillo called Carol and volunteered to interpret its sentiments on canvas. The success of this initial collaboration inspired Greg to submit photos of previously unpublished paintings for Carol to interpret in poetry. Having reviewed the preliminary drafts, Greg knew he had found the right collaborator for heartbeats louder than drums. As one collector put it, you can truly feel the oneness of the artistic partners in this effort. Together, Greg Perillo and Carol Wood project the wisdom of the Native American. I watch you dreaming, little one, beside a polar bear. You faith to close your eyes and sleep, whence it comes, I know not where. Can it be you fear not, simply because you were never taught to fear? For the trust you harbor in your heart can't be violated by a bear. There's a lesson somewhere to be learned. If we truly search, we'll see that if we simply trust the ones we're near, they will prove they're trustworthy. Let me cry for you, my little one, and spare your salty tears. Born with a spirit as free as the eagles, this vast land was yours to behold. Your dark eyes speak volumes and emanate trust. Tis a dark, hidden secret they hold. Ferocious growls, and then another, though senses were keen this day. Springtime comes, a battle blooms. It's nurtured through the year. Sinister trio, you've plotted again to take what is not yours to take. From a womb so warm and silent, to a world of light and sound. Pale-faced soldiers wind their way through the valleys as a snake. Nevada cowboy, I see more sparkle in the stars than in your eyes. I did not underestimate your strength, great buffalo. You'll not be rich, my little one, in terms of white men's treasure. Some say the day that you were born, a mad horse galloped through the camp. I watch you dreaming, little one, beside a polar bear. Ride hard, evil men, in flight to elude the fate you so justly deserve. When all of nature sleeps below a blanket white of driven snow. Riderless horse, you graze all alone. A young brave has fallen today. The sun that rose this morning was the last one you shall see. From the west, the land of setting suns, of majestic mountains high. Amigo, you're a friend and more. You listen when I speak. Magnificent creature, 
You're the pride of the plains. A good horse is a cowboy's prize. At first we embraced only in my thoughts. I dreamed of how it would be. The plains are alive with the roar of thunder, but the clap comes not from the sky. Sunbeams dancing on the water. Kiss the day, good night. It was a fearless climb, and I made it well as I scaled the mountains high. The hope of a nation is wrapped secure, ever tended by watchful eyes. If not the sound of thundering hooves, where herds of buffalo roam. Navajo shepherds, tis a life serene. You tend your sheep by day. You look ahead, then you look back. A story is written in your tracks. Banished from my people, have I done so very wrong? You'll find the timeless beauty depicted in each print and poem complements any home or office and makes the perfect gift for friends and relatives. Choices like lovers, sunset, and winter romance are ideal wedding, valentine, and anniversary gifts. The fun and challenge come in discovering the underlying sentiment that creates a truly special feeling. Let Greg and Carol help you share sentiments of romance, trust, strength, and tenderness with those who are most important to you. Here is a gift with meaning, a work of art that conveys your feelings. At first, we embraced only in my thoughts. I dreamed of how it would be to hold you close enough to hear your heart beating next to me. Ours was a union of spirit at first, descending on us as a dove, and passion grew as a mighty wind to become a lasting love. A union of body, a union of soul, commitment for life from the start. For hearts that beat as strong as ours could never beat apart. Riderless horse, you graze all alone. A young brave has fallen today. Though both of you entered the battle so fierce, you alone, valiant horse, walked away. Remember the day when you challenged the brave to remain astride your back? You bucked and revolted, rejecting the thought that you'd carry a human pack. But the young brave persisted and conquered your will Painted horse, you were more like a friend. He taught you to move at a touch on the reins. In combat, on you he'd depend. Primed to do battle, you moved as the wind. You carried your rider with ease. But nothing you did could save the young brave. Only blood would the soldiers appease. Your motionless rider slumped to the ground. The reins on your neck became slack. The courageous young warrior's blood soaks the soil from a small piece of lead in his back. You'll have a fine collectible at a very special price. The perfect gift, the perfect expression of your feelings. Carol Wood and Greg Perillo, together for the first time Enjoy, share, heartbeats louder than drums. <laughs>